It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And Sarah, we've got something classic here today. What yes. do we have? We have Elijah Craig Small Batch. Elijah Craig Small Batch. Now, we're no stranger to this. We're no stranger to it. It's actually kind of surprising that we've waited this long into our tenure mm -hmm. um, to crack one open and uncork it. I think it's because we've always had a bottle open around here somewhere, so there hasn't been a need to uncork one. <laughs> Other than to share with you, which we're doing now. Yeah, pause for cork. Oh. That was a good one. That one had some, just like all the notes. All the notes. Very full cork pop. <laughs> Let's see if the taste lives up to the pop. How about that? Pour a little bit here. Why don't we just let this sit in the glass for a second here and give sure. give a little history via this magnet. It's a magnet. That has information. But it's not. It's like an accordion uh, that we got somewhere. I don't know. So supposedly. Supposedly. And of course, oh, it gets even more. Gets, yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is according to Heaven Hill, who makes Elijah Craig. Uh, they like to go with the story that Elijah Craig was the person who invented bourbon, or, or basically invented charring barrels Which is uh, part on, of the, on the inside. Yeah. So it says, Reverend Elijah Craig was a Baptist preacher and active character in the 1800s Kentucky. Uh, he was an educator, road builder, land speculator, Land speculator? He speculated. speculated land? Like, it's true. I think that's land. I think that's <laughs> land over there. Yeah. I think All right. I'm going to go home now. <laughs> but it was his gift as a distiller and entrepreneur that established his place in history as the father of bourbon. One of the many tales of yeah. where, you know, the fathers of bourbon or. Yeah. Who's really responsible for charring the barrel and how did bourbon get its name? No one really knows, but we have speculations just like he speculated at land. Of course, yes. Uh, the signature bourbon bearing the name of Reverend Elijah Craig, a bourbon pioneer who is credited with being the first distiller to age his whiskey in charred oak barrels. So, okay, so who knows if it was really Elijah Craig who, you know, ex uh, burnt his barrel to get the fish smell out of it and then put whiskey in it and was like, hey, this is a thing. Let's this is start delicious. doing this. Who knows? You should ask Michael Veach for his <laughs> expert opinion. Right, there you go. Well, it is spicy. A little spice, a little fruit. It's like a, I don't know if that's apricot. I don't know what that is. It's a, yeah, I could go with apricot or peach maybe. Yeah, maybe peach. Mm -hmm. A boozed up peach. Yeah, your normal vanilla. It's actually got quite a nose for, this is just 94 proof. I say just 94. Just 94 is high for some people. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Which is, I think, why this is such a great value. Like, it hangs out at 94 proof, and yet it's still under $30. Yeah. Mostly. Yeah. I think we got this for 25 I've seen it at 27 27 Sure, so sure. It yeah. may be 30 in your area. I'm not mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Well, let's dive in. And yeah, that boozy fruit. <laughs> yeah. You're going to say right off the bat? No, it's not going to say <laughs> Now, right off the bat... <clears throat> Um, it also packs a punch. It does. For 94 proof. A little tingle. Yeah. It's got, well, I want to see how long this finish really is, but I can tell right off the bat. I was going to say it. <laughs> we say right off the bat a lot. She pointed it out. I uh, did. Yeah. Um, no, I can't, un I can't unhear it. Can't unhear it. No. It's a drinking game at home. Uh, please drink responsibly. Right off the bat. It's got this all over. It's not just located in one part of the tongue. It's a front, middle, and back. Uh, type of tongue tingle, so mm -hmm. I like to say that spice. Like it reminds mm. me of like a if there was like a boozy spiced peach pie with like a really dense like whipped cream or something like mm. that is the flavor that I'm getting. It's delicious. It does taste rich. rich it's rich, like a yeah. dessert. Yeah, and just sure. like how that would be like syrupy and creamy yeah. and just good. I'm getting some mm. some I'm berry, <laughs> some berry notes. Yeah. Yeah. What's this? What's? I could hear some berry. What's the old magnet say? <laughs> Let's refer to the magnet. Tasty notes. Color is burntish, burnish. Not burntish. Burnish copper. Uh, Whatever nose, that means. Delightfully complex. Yes. With notes of vanilla bean, oh. sweet fruit, and fresh mint. Oh, I didn't get the mint. I didn't so much get the mint, but you know, it's all subjective. Taste. Smooth and warm. I don't see the mint, but. Pleasantly woody. Yeah. Oh. With accents of spice. Correct. Yeah. Smoke. 
Yeah. I don't I think get that's as the much smoke. I think that's the barrel influence. The nutmeg spice. And nutmeg. Yeah. Which is a spice, so I don't know why it's broken out. <laughs> uh, finish, long, sweet, and slightly toasty. Well, I'm slightly toasty right now. I think... <laughs> <laughs> I agree with the, most of those uh, things. Like you said, like the coating of your mouth and like mm -hmm. all the complexity of the flavor. It's really good. I would say it is a medium slash long finish. But man, you can't deny that caramel mm. burnt burntish <laughs> burnish <laughs> burnish uh barrel mm. flavor there yeah that it's like toasted vanilla wood yeah again though it's like that underneath i get this like creamy syrupy spiced peach or something mm -hmm. yeah for sure on the top yeah I not keep, so peachy but i keep going back and forth between like berry and and fruity berry fruity i Why think berries are fruit are they <laughs> Chad hates berries, so he considers them just in the no pile. <laughs> I consider them the Chad no eat. <laughs> Those are in category. the Chad no eat food group, not not other food groups. Yeah, so I, I decided to learn nothing about them. So, you know, if you go back a few years, of course, it was this guy right here. Aww. The Big Red 12. Big Red 12. Mm. <laughs> that being a 12-year... I miss you. Boldly age stated in this, what I like to call, pirate bottle. Because you yes. look at that font, that it is. looks it's like, like the font of a pirate. It looks like it's been chipped away out with a sword or something. <laughs> and even the bottle itself, it looks like it's kind of pirate. A pirate would carry this. <laughs> Pirate-ish. Um, so then the this obviously got popular, as it should. Bourbon boom. A lot of people drinking Elijah Craig. It's tasty stuff. The 12 went away and moved to the back of the bottle, the back of the label, which I don't, we don't have one of those bottles. And then it completely disappeared. Yeah. Completely. <laughs> it completely disappeared completely. It's completely gone. Completely. Uh, so now it is a just non-age stated. If you want to get a 12 year though, in today's realm, you go with the barrel proof, which is on the side, 12 year age stated. Mm -hmm. This one's 131 proof. So good. Such Very. a big fan. Such a big fan, and for only fifty-five, sixty dollars is what this you should be, be paying for, for it. Uh, it's it, uh, just so, so good. <laughs> and then you know, back then to kind of compare, back mm. in this era, they just went with a, you know, darker. This is very label. piratey. Yes, very piratey. Barrel proof in red, which with is a, a barrel pirate on there. color. A barrel, the font, and this is ooh, this is the one hundred thirty-nine point four. Oh, red's a, red's a pirate color. Red's a pirate color. Fly the colors. I thought it was black. Fly and white. the colors. Hmm? Mm hmm. Yeah, that's Is what. Is that your pirate that's voice? That's what they sound like. Well, that was a nice little trip down memory lane. Right. And of course, there's the uh, Elijah Craig 18, Elijah Craig 23. So the the line is rich and complex, yes. much like the entry level small batch bourbon here. I think this is a great value. It's such a great value, such a great pour. I, I'm such a fan of it now. When I started out in bourbon, I didn't think I was because I got a store pick that just, at least for starting into bourbon, Chad did not like. So didn't for the longest time, I, I just stayed away from it. So, you know, a little cautionary tale. Right. Tale. Yeah. Always revisit. You never know how your palate changes over time. And like, maybe you just got an off bottle or maybe you had a pick and you didn't know because it was so early. <laughs> right. Yeah. So toasty. Yeah. So pleasant. So warm. Yes. Very tongue tingly. Tongue tingly. If you're uh, trying, to, trying to graduate up, if you like lower proof stuff and you're trying to graduate up to higher proof stuff, I think this is a great place to stop along the way. Yes. Even if you're not. If you're just looking for a casual sipper on like a Wednesday night because you're, you've are you got to work tomorrow, like this is great. Mm -hmm. 94 proof. It, it falls in that, you know, lower proof category, but still packs the flavor. It packs the punch. Yeah. Um, it's just great flavor, mm. but proof that you don't need to be scared of on a weeknight. Mm. There you go. There you go. It's a weeknight bourbon. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It's a weeknight bourbon. Well, so, Chad. Yes. Overall, mm -hmm. recommend. You know what? I got to give this a hearty recommend. Me too. Absolutely. Hard recommend on this yes. one. Yes, it's just so classic. Everyone should have at least one at one point in time. Yeah. Well, like we said, we mm. both recommend. About 25, maybe 27, definitely under $30. Yeah. Uh, probably near you, depending on how 
inflated your market is. <laughs> um, we think you should go out and get one. And I uh, guess that'll do it, right? Absolutely, that'll do it for us. Uh, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. You can uh, give us one of these if you feel like we earned it. Uh, that really helps out the channel, gets this, helps this video get seen. Leave us a comment or question down below. You can also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We that would... bell notification. Bell notification, so many things to do. So many things to click on. So many activities. Uh, I love it. I uh, also want to tell you about where you can get these glasses. Oh, these? Yes, and also our drink more water pint glasses and so forth. That is whiskeyambitions.com. For those who are whiskey ambitious, we salute you. Whiskeyambitions.com. Little tagline is made up. There I we see go. that. Mm -hmm. uh, you can join our Patreon community. It's patreon.com slash it's bourbonite. And join in our conversation. We do polls. Uh, we just like to chat, honestly, with our what are now some of our closest friends. So you there get you on go. there, as little as $1 a month. Uh, you can also find our things that we love on our Amazon influencer page. It's amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. And lastly, you can follow us on the social medias. It's at it's bourbon night. And that will do us. I believe it will. Mm. Well, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay. You all know what to do. Drink more bourbon. You all want you new paper, please. And words. Can I go in the updates? <laughs>